I welcome you all to this online Novena devotion. So let us begin this Novena devotion at the presence of God by invoking the Trinity, name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. For the opening hymn, page 13, glory and praise to our God. brothers and sisters in Christ. We are grateful to God for the many blessings we have received from him through the prayers of our mother of perpetual help. Let us once more ask her to pray with us and for us. Petitions set six on page 31. That they will not give in to peer pressure or mixed with the wrong company in schools and neighborhoods. Mother Mary, Mother Mary pray, pray with, with us. us. That those who are addicted to pornography or hooked on electronic games will be set free. Mother, Mother Mary, Mary, pray with, with us. That they will make use of social media in a responsible and constructive manner. Mother, Mother Mary, Mary, pray with, pray with us. us. That they will be filled with Christian charity to serve the less fortunate and the abandoned. Mother, Mother Mary, Mary Pray, pray with, with us. us. That they may find strength and patience in caring for the aged parents and family members. Mother, Mother Mary, pray, pray with us. That they will have the courage and support to raise their children in the values of the gospel. Mother, Mother Mary, pray, pray with, with us. That we will be more conscious in promoting peace and harmony in our country and in the world. Mother, Mother Mary, pray, pray with, with us. us. That we will always create a safe environment for all members in our church and society. Mother Mary, pray with us. That we do our part in keeping our public places clean and beautiful for everyone to enjoy. Mother Mary, pray with us. That those who are separated, divorced, or widowed may find hope and strength to move on with their lives. Mother Mary, pray with us. That those in broken relationships will not harbor hatred and bitterness in their hearts. Mother Mary, Pray, pray with us. us. That the brokenhearted will continue to walk in faith and experience God's love and mercy for them. Mother Mary, Mother Mary pray, pray for us. us. That those who have been released from prison and drug centers receive the necessary support and care from their family, the church, and society. Mother, Mother Mary, Mary, pray, pray with, with us. us. Let us now pray for our own personal intentions.
Let us pray. Heavenly, Heavenly Father, Father, we ask you to hear our petitions and grant them through the prayers of Mary, our Mother. Amen. Can you be seated? There are a total of 514 petitions, thanksgiving in private. Here are some of the petitions. Dear Mother of Perpetual Help, please intercede for my husband who has a job offering. Mother, please pray for him to make a wise choice that comes from God. Dear Mother Mary, please intercede for my youngest son as he will be withdrawing from his secondary school. I pray for your intercessions for the Lord to open, to open another path for him to nurture his strength and build his self-esteem. Dearest Mother, please intercede for me and my wife. We have been trying to conceive without any success. May our Lord Jesus Christ grant us a smart and healthy baby. Dearest Mother Mary, please ask our Lord to bless my family and friends with good health. Also, help those people who are suffering during this COVID-19 and help them to overcome many challenges. Those are some petitions. Here are some Thanksgiving letters. Dearest Mother Mary, though I struggled to go to church freely, I was able to attend Mass and Novena online during the pandemic. Just recently, my sister completed her treatment for cancer and is on her gradual recovery journey. I'm just grateful for so many blessings in my lifetime. Thank you, Lord, through Mary, Mother Mary's intercession, your grateful Catholic child. Dearest Mother, thank you for loving and caring for me during my difficult times when I faced challenges in the family and at work. I know that you are by my side. Thank you for being my mother, your grateful daughter. Dearest Mother Mary, thank you so much for your kind intercession. And I know that it is only through your intercession that this is possible. More than 11 years ago, when my second daughter was childless after six years of marriage, I asked for your intercession for her to have a baby. Now, it is just amazing that she is blessed with two boys and recently a baby girl. I know it is through your intercession that God has showered her and my son-in-law with such a blessing. It is with great gratitude that I want to express my heartfelt thanksgiving to you, my dearest Mama Mary, your grateful Catholic daughter. October is the month of the rosary and also a new start for myself as I embark in a new company. I cannot thank God and Mother Mary enough for always looking out for me and helping me whenever I encounter some hiccups in my life. Once again, I was given an opportunity to continue working in the same company, but under a third party. I cannot be happier as I will still get my severance pay and continue on the 1st October. Thank you, Mother Mary, for always looking out for me and for interceding in my prayer, your loving daughter. Listening to this inspiring Thanksgiving letters, let us go on our knees by saying the prayer of confidence. Mother of Our perpetual help, help, we come to you and place our trust in you. You are a mother of mercy. You are called by all the refuge and the hope of sinners. Be then our refuge and our hope. Help us for the love of Jesus Christ. Stretch out your hand to us poor sinners. We bless and thank God for giving us this confidence in you. In the past, we have so often sinned, but with your help, we can conquer, and you will help us if we pray to you. In all our temptations, may we always turn to you and say, Mary, help me. Let me never lose my God. Amen. Let us share with Mary her prayer of praise and thanksgiving to God. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. He looks on his servant in her nothingness. 
Henceforth, all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy is his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Mary, you are the mother of Christ. And you are our mother also. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you with all our heart for giving us Mary to be our mother. She is so loving, so thoughtful, so understanding, and so kind. We thank, thank you, you for, for her. her. Amen. Amen. Him, Mother Dearest, Mother Fairest, on page 57, verses 1, the stanza in verse 2. We encourage you to write in your petitions and thanksgiving letters via the Novena app or through the website during this time. We are in the third week of a special Advent Novena. The theme for the special Novena is Mary Did You Know? It's a story about a Catholic couple. When tragedy struck them so hard that everybody in the neighborhood thought that they would abandon their faith. These couple had three children, two daughters and a son. It happened so on a particular Sunday, they wouldn't have expected that they are going to lose their three children in a matter of few minutes. Their two-year-old son fell from the staircase with his head broken. On the way to the hospital, died. Meanwhile, their two daughters who were playing outside of their house fell accidentally into the swimming pool, got drowned and dead. All this happened in a matter a few minutes. It's painful, it's hard to accept. But this is what the couple have shared to those people who have visited to console them. For they were saying, our relationship with our children is over. But our relationship with our God continues and is everlasting. It's because of the exemplary faith, God remembered and touched their lives by blessing them with a baby boy within a year. Quite an inspiring and a remarkable story that touches our life, saying that during hardships, we are called to face it and accept it, relying on the power of God. The topic we are going to reflect is in Jesus, your son, God touches our life. In Jesus, your son, God touches our life. The Holy Bible teaches us that God reaches himself to humans 
so that humans can welcome God and put all their faith in him. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, became one among us. He reached out to people by touching them with his words, miracles, and more importantly, he touched our lives by sacrificing himself on the cross to redeem us, to win over our hearts. Jesus knows the will of God. He brings people closer to God the Father. Something to reflect. Think of the loneliest, those darkest moments in your life. An illness, a loss of a loved one, a broken relationship, a job loss, and many more situations. During those times, what helped you to go through it? Perhaps it was a word of comfort or sympathy. More likely, it may not be words at all. It could be a presence of a friend or his or her touch. In the Gospels, we see Jesus demonstrating his power for healing people. He lays his hands on people and he goes out to them individually. The question is why? Why not he just say a word and heal the entire crowd? Why should he take a risk going all the way, taking trouble in, treat, in treating each individual face to face? It's because Jesus knows the value of human touch. He reaches out to them person to person. The example of a woman in Nain in Luke 7, a widow who lost her only son. The text does not reveal if Jesus knew the widow or her son, but he had compassion for her. He reached out in empathy and compassion to her when she was in grief. When you are confronted with human suffering, pain, grief, need, you have a choice. You can just walk away, hide behind social, pragmatic, or even religious excuses. Or we can imitate Jesus and reach out to others in compassion in his name. Jesus speaks and touches, and so should we. How does God touch our lives? Through sacraments, through the word of God, through the Eucharist, through church ministers, through people we meet each and every day in our workplaces, when we come together as a family to pray, helping the poor, when we give comfort and consolation to those people who have lost their loved ones, and many more. Example, she lost her husband within two years of her marriage, and she has a six-month-old baby girl. Her experience of God came through a person who came to visit her to console by saying, Jesus loves you, and he loves your child. He is there for both of you. She says, those words of comfort gave me a lot of hope, joy, and comfort, she says. Even today, Jesus heals many broken hearts. All that we have to do is to bring them to Jesus. Then he will do the healing. When God touches your life, don't be afraid to become good news to those who are depressed, stressed, those who have given up hope in life, and those who have tremendous pain and suffering. 2 Corinthians 1 4 would say, God helps us in all, in all our troubles so that we are able to help to those who have all kinds of troubles for the help we have received ourselves from God. Jesus heals and restores people back to life. He changes what seems unchangeable, giving new purpose and hope. It could be a fear of death, suffering, illness, tragedy, 
and even our tough decisions in our life, you can overcome with one person, Jesus. Revelation 21.3 would say, Look here. Look here. God is present among human beings. He made his home among them. They will be his people and he will be their God. God with them. In Jesus, his son, God touches our lives here and now. Amen. The memory. Remember, Remember most, most gracious, gracious Virgin, Virgin Mary, Mary that, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, protection implored your help, or sought, sought your intercession was left unheeded. Inspired with this confidence, I fly to you, Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To you I come, before you I stand, sinful and sorrowful, mother of the word incarnate. Despise not my petitions, but in your mercy, hear and answer me. Amen. Let us pause for a moment and remember those sick people in the hospitals and all those elderly at our homes. Pray for their healing, quick recovery. Let us together pray, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ you bore our sufferings, sufferings and, and carried, carried our sorrows. Hear our prayers for the sick. Help them to unite themselves with your sufferings. And if it is your will, may they get better. Let them never forget that you care for them. Amen. Let us now pray for the intentions of our Holy Father. Our, our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Him, Mary from thy secret image, verses 3 and 4. Don't in adoration for 
Given them bread from heaven, having in itself only light. Let us pray. O oh God, in this wonderful sacrament, you have left us a memorial of your passion. We ask you to enable us all to worship the sacred mysteries of your body and blood that we may constantly feel in our lives the effects of your redemption, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. be gone bless us be his holy name bless us be jesus christ true god and true man bless us be the name of jesus bless us be his most sacred heart bless us be his For the closing hymn, page 63, Praise Her with a Flower. Yeah. 
Thank you and God bless you all.